Hey folks, welcome back. This week we're back on Emma's van, although in the real life timeline we've jumped a good few months. In between the last video of Emma's van and this one, I'd gone to Portugal to buy the land, then we both went over to Portugal to start on the land, then, well, you know what happened, we were forced home, quarantined and have been here ever since. Or if you haven't seen all that, the box at the top right is for you. So we fast forwarded to April of this year, and I'd only just started to be able to see Emma again thanks to the UK lockdown. Ready? But before I could even get in to start work, we needed to do some trimming. The trees down Emma's drive had grown so big we needed to cut them back just to get the van down there. But thanks to the deck, we had a works platform. All right, love, watch me van. <laughs> I got actually get. The dogs all had a little reunion, Coco being ecstatic to see Lance again. Lola, not so much. And in our time apart, Emma had been pretty busy. She now had most of the windows in and framed. She'd completely battened and insulated the floor, and made preparations to fix the walls on tighten up the cab area in a very Emma-like fashion. She'd also decided the factory seats weren't to her liking. My new chairs are captain, I don't know what they are, well they're just captain seats from a Ford Galaxy, I think 2008? Mm. Um, apparently they're supposed to fit really easily in one of these but that's not the case at all. So Bit of fabrication needs happening there. But they're proper comfy mm. and very heavy. So we had a bit to get on with this weekend. The van was pretty much ready to receive its floor and interior walls with just a few little tweaks, like finishing the vapour barrier and getting all the fixings into the floor for the underslung stuff. Last time I was here, it was we'd just finished the wall, wasn't it? I was trying to think how that, yeah, I think where we, we left it. Put the, um, we didn't even do the floor, did we? No, you've been busy. Yeah, so this stuff um, allows, I think, it's like porous, so when it's um, hotter, like the temperature's warmer in there, it opens up slightly so that any vapour that's in the insulation can get out yeah. and like have some ventilation. And then when it's like freezing, it closes so nothing can get in. Yeah. Well, clever. nothing, but... And eco-friendly. Yeah, it's biodegradable, so and it's made out of recycled fabric, so yeah. in an eco-friendly way. And then your super custom dash. Oh man, oh man, I. Mm. <laughs> I love it. It's really grown on me. The whole. You really didn't like it. Did you? I didn't like it at first, but I think, it was, like you said, it's because of the difference, outside and in. Yeah, massive contrast. Yes. Considering she hasn't really done any work like this before and knowing how daunting the start of a camper build can be, I was really impressed with how much she's got done. Especially fitting the windows, which I'm not even a fan of. Did a very good job of. See, I told you, you didn't need me. Clacking on, doing it. Right, let's get his spare wheel off, shall we? <laughs> oh, hello, darling. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> You're right in the mouth. Oh. Yeah. I don't really take my coat. <laughs> the spare wheel's coming off to make way for the water tank, then the wheel will be mounted on the rear door. Right, one thing that I never get safety goggles. Oh, yeah. And half your van in my way, boy. Ah, oh, my finger's crushed. Ah, you bastard. You right. Ow. Oh. You've not got another injury, have you? Yeah. <laughs> oh, What's that? What's that? Oh, 
is it? Isn't it? Oh, yes. That looks... Bloody hell. It's yeah. not too bad. Oh, <laughs> after you. No, yeah. after you. Slip your butt. Just going to tease him now. Oh, buddy, where's she gone? Oh, dear. She no, she just took it. <laughs> go on then, go get it. Yeah. Right, so where the spare wheel carrier is, is where Emma wants her um, water tank, fresh water, and um, there's actually loads of room for it. It's quite a deep one, but it'll, it'll fit near perfect actually. But in order to do that, actually, oh, hang on. Before I go too far, I'm going to see if the bloody tank fits in this. That would be bang on. Just about to chop it off. No, no. Oh, bloody. Oh, the tow itch on this is a f***ing nightmare. I'm going to say that's a no. My drill running out. No. Okay. Would you be able to take this from me? You could probably stick that on eBay, you know? You yeah, someone would want that. They always rot out. Okay, so you've got loads of room in here for this tank. Yeah? Yeah. It's really lovely, I think. It's not too bad at all, is it? Not the same height. Yeah. Uh, depth as the tow bar look. Uh -huh. Perfect. <laughs> They're probably just a little bit too far away. Are they? So I think what we'll do is we'll just come down. Annoyingly, the two holes that you had welded up. Yeah. Uh, Need them. Right, we'll have to scrap the idea of um, using the old hangers holes to put the uh, threaded bar down um, because they're just completely rusted solid in there. They're not going to come out. And we could spend hours on them. So instead we've just moved the hole back slightly. Run this threaded bar through, oversized. Um, nut, bolt, spring washer and washers either side. Uh, tight them up so they're all nice and fixed into the, the metal. They're not going to come out. Um, another one there. Two back here. And then eventually when Emma gets her th uh, uni strut, the tank will go up. Uh, the uni strut will go up and it will be bolted again. And then the tank will be up and fixed. Well, that fell off. Okay, that is going nowhere. I don't know, it might be a bit long for it, but you all right? Oh, look at that. Bloody perfect. All right, and with the specially made, let's move this swarf out. Bespoke washer. Oh, work of bloody art. Just got to make three more. Um, okay, so I'm going to do that today. If you then drop it down and then wind your nut up, and then we can time up together. Up there, isn't it? Oh my god. Perfect. <laughs> what is it? Will we in April? Yeah. I can take some showers. Yeah, but this is like snow. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is snow. Is it? Yeah. Oh. Ow. Why can't... Why can't I do it? It's all practice. It's all oh, practice. Do you know what? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get on with this. Really. <laughs> nightmare. We live in a nightmare. Jolting with a hit hole being made. Mm -hmm. See, told you could do it. <laughs> well, that's Emma just uh, grinding off the last little bits and making them neat. Unfortunately, that's all we can do on the water tank at the minute. Um, the Unistra hasn't arrived yet, but that's what we're going to be basically doing. Tank up once it's insulated. Length of Unistra between them two uh, threaded bars. Uh, wind it up, bolt it, done. 
the official jobs list. Official. There's <laughs> <laughs> their wheel. Gone. Water tank. Does it fit? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And it's sort of there once you get uni strip. Next. Pull out seat. Pull out seat. But deck. You know, I said earlier that I've got a bit of um, something that if we don't use the trim. Yeah. That's in a car. Ah. Which makes it obviously very much stronger. It's gonna. But is it gonna foul off them now? Um, Yes. We could cut little things. We could. But, so there was that idea, which didn't work. I think these will be all right. We'll try it. Okay. We'll get two more. If you can cut two more of them, um, that? That we'll screw all together. That looks that like one. one. That'll be one. That'll be one already. Sweet. You kept it secret from me, didn't you? Like I've got a project on the van, but I don't want to tell you because you did it on your own, and you got really far. Oh, it does need cutting as well. And it needs cutting, yeah. But, yeah. Ah, we need to do that now then. Because we're about to glue and screw it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she thinks this is a bit naff, but I'm actually really impressed with it. I thought she's doing really well. Um, just needs a little bit of middle strength. Um, hinge solutions and cutting down a bit. And then we're going to put some like chains on it and just genuinely get it all nice and solid so it will take the weight of two people, hopefully. Remember the last time I sat on something yeah. and said it'd be okay? I think we should put the chains on it. It's pretty solid. Considering it's only glued. No, oh, no. I mean, your weight isn't gonna do anything. Well, it is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm nervous. <laughs> Bang! Oh, fuck! <laughs> God, it's so relaxing. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Getting warm. <laughs> Perfect, it works. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, you can get off, walk and roll in, and away you f***ing go. Next was the main hook up and the water tank filler neck, as both needed to be passed under the floor. Oh my god! So the pilot hole will open up first. Probably see one side go before the other, but keep going. Yeah. There's been some candy floss created on the end of the drill. Mm. Uh, just hold fire a second and I'm gonna try and clear it off. <laughs> yes. Beautiful. Let's have a brew. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> come to that in a bit. Oh my goodness, cake. So this is Simonal cake. Excuse me? Simonal cake. Simonal? Simonal. Ooh. That's a disciple. Oh, okay. I don't actually know, but Wait. it wasn't Easter Sunday yet, so... Today is Sunday. Today is Sunday. I'm eat you. Sunday disciple. Oh. oh, I'm so happy all the trees are starting to come back. And... No, it looks so nice. Yeah, I love this time of year when it all just starts to go boof. Yeah. Even the now they're not in our faces. Even the flies look pretty. They do look quite cool actually. I mean, there's a lot of them. Mm. We've got to go easy just so I can show you the yeah, flow flies. Quite fireflies too. Oh yeah, I've never seen them. They are amazing. If you go somewhere like really rural, there's loads of them. Yeah. Do they actually glow? Yeah, it literally looks like that, but at night. Wow. They're like green. Why? Well, like, why? Why do they do this? They've got like luminous blood stuff about them, yeah. <laughs> Science. <laughs> oh, they've got luminous stuff. Yeah. I can't wait to never see this again. Yeah. It's starting to annoy me. It makes me itch. Does it? Yeah. It doesn't make me itch. <sighs> Maybe you have an allergy. 
Two sheep's wool? Maybe. Yeah. It doesn't make me into two. Maybe I'm just old. Maybe I'm a sheep. <laughs> that escalated really quick. <laughs> we still good? Still level? Still good? Mm. Oh, big snow. There's big snow, isn't it? You've got a hook up. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to look forward to watching that back. I'm just going to make us a private collection of your yeah. things. <laughs> Friendly. Doesn't just look very happy. This is bullshit. This is bullshit, to be fair. I mean, the sun's pretty warm. The sun's warm. Why is it snowing? Unclear. Someone broke the weather. Mm. <laughs> Face, eye, <laughs> ow. <laughs> It's so cold. It's so heavy and cold. <laughs> it's magical. <laughs> I took a hit. One eye. Man down. This isn't even a video about building a van anymore. This is exactly what building a van is about. Snow in the sun. Snow in the face. What it's all about. And it stopped. Good. This is good. Continue. Yeah? Yeah. Good for that. Is that your marking system? Yep. <laughs> Good job the van's filthy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It does look lower. <laughs> it's nice it's because it's because it's bigger. It's because it's bigger, yeah. I, me I measured. Probably should have centered it out a little bit, but then the top wouldn't look right. No, it's fine. I could only find white ones, to be fair. Yeah. So I was actually quite glad I found a black one, but it's minging. Yeah, mine I struggled to find a black one. Mine's even Wasn't cheaper. Wasn't yours already shipping. there? Mm, I this is where the amb them. Yeah, but it was the ambulance yeah. clicker, which was ideal because the moment you turned the key, it went <laughs> poof and fired out. <laughs> Next, we had a little bit of a play with some dash bling. Emma's A class has LEDs embedded all throughout the interior, so she wanted to bring a bit of that style in into the Sprinter. Just like the A-Class. Mm. Like the other bend. I don't think they'd be having this colour in there though. AMG. <laughs> AMG. Yeah, that's in. Yeah, that was cool. I'm going to have to do that in mine. Oh, yeah, man. I think that is, it's just a charged element. So I think you can cut it. But that does mean we need to start from this end. And... That's okay. Yeah. But I think the red one would look good in yours anyway because of the grey. Yeah. Like, it wouldn't go in here at all. I'm not going to do not it. Not much goes in here anymore. I might go and do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's so red. Yeah. Oh, I've got a problem already. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I've got to take the, um, that off. Why do I keep coming back in here from yours and be like, my van's all shitty? Look at the state of it. Look at the titters. I oh, know. <laughs> Boy's van. I'm really feeling it. If you want to clean my van. I do. I like it though, we're going to have matching dash lights. Mm -hmm. I might even go blue like yours. Yeah. Or, so. or it's white. Nice it's clear. Ooh, that's a bigger gap in there than yours. Mm. And that you can't even get in. <laughs> Why is my van so much like wonky? So much wonky. I mean, I, I guess I have treated it slightly worse than any other sprinter on the planet. Oh, I can't even plug it in. Oh, f twat. oh no. What an absolute gonad. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Uh, you can't even see it. Can you not? It's Take orange. It, out? it is orange. Look at that. It's quite orange. Yeah. Mm, blue. Or white? Is it white? White. White look alright. Yeah. That just looks. It's orange. It actually looks quite childish. It does a bit. No. I got it from Wish. Everything, of course, it's from Wish. Just leave that there. Oh no, I moved it from there because Lance kept doing that. Most of the slung stuff was now on, barring the LPG tank because everywhere had run out. But that's alright because we can mount that a slightly different way. So we can now fix the floor down and start reattaching the walls. The Emma had sanded down and gave a quick coat of primer before we put them in. The battens we'd fitted to the walls to tack the string along that holds the insulation in have now doubled up as battens to screw the walls to. This means none of the wall screws go into the metalwork, so you don't get any of the nasty condensation and rust marks. Being the original van's lining walls, they need a little bit of fettling and sorting out to make them good. But it's worth it as it's a hell of a lot of wood just to throw away and then buy new stuff to cut to the same shape. 
Most of the joins and bad stuff will actually be covered by furniture anyway. Raining, otherwise you would be outside. Now you've got to stay in here and be all smelly. I'm getting covered in sawdust. It's got to be that, hasn't it? It's got to be that. So if we just whoosh, <laughs> and then uh, whoop. Yep. Drop it on. Walls! <laughs> so we... True. Is your tape of mazur about? Indeed. So, where do you roughly want your bed place to be? <laughs> You don't want to go over it, do you? So you got to think mattress, bed slats. Yeah. So you're not really that far off. Actually, yeah? not is it? No. That's still a decent garage. Yeah. There's a bit of no motorcycle in there, but. We don't have one. Exactly. So that is one six forty. Which translates to five foot nine. <gasps> which is what we both are, correct? Take that off. I mean, yeah, because that adds it. Oh no, nice. it's a six. Five nine's there. We short. We are short. That's good. Good for living in vans. That's fine. After faffing around and measuring each other, we came to the conclusion that the standard van width isn't going to be enough. So Emma's now left with the decision to nick some space out of the walls or even go for some pods on one or both sides. But now at least with the walls in, the van is beginning to look like something. It looks big in here now. What do you think? It looks like blank canvas, ready to build some furniture. Can I look at small? Nah. <laughs> Wait till you fill it. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. It feels like a little cabin. Yeah, ma'am. Finally. A few weekends later I was back, Emma had done a little bit more, now it was time to fit Emma's custom seat plinth because you can't get single passenger seat plinths for sprinters anymore and start the colossal faff of making these galaxy seats fit. In theory it should be quite simple with fitting box section to close the gap between the rails and lift the seats up a little bit but Emma also wanted a swivel base, the bolts to that weren't supplied right, the correct size drill bits snapped. Where the box section had to go fouled on the swivel base, I condensed it down to these few clips, but just getting the passenger seat on took half the day. Pretty good, isn't it? Can your feet not reach? No. Hang on. No, because you have the seat forward. Oh, go on and pull it forward then. Extend it out of the vehicle. I'm only, I've literally only recorded this bit because I knew this whole job was going to be a right. It wasn't though, was it? Because you are a brilliant man i've got no qualms in saying i hated every second of this job and you're fitting the next one <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good isn't it oh man it's good but i never want to do a job like this again but you've only got like one more to go no no i don't i don't have a singular f of one to do four four bolts that's go. got i mean it literally earlier on had emma long written on it did. It did. Oh, you got no comeback to it. That is yours to do. I've done all the hard work. Are we on? They are actually really comfy. And when it's all painted, it'll look bloody quite nice, won't it? Whoop. So since the last time I came back, you've got your bed in. So what? There's a garage definition to bed area. We got the bits for the bed made and ready, but before fitting any furniture, it's time to get the lino down. Yeah. Emma cleaned and prepped the floor as any imperfections show up really badly in lino. While she was doing that, and because the cab seats were now in, I could make a start on the bulkhead.
I mean, if it don't break now, it won't break. I'm down. <laughs> I can't. Is <laughs> <laughs> it alright? Yeah, I think I heard that in the... You reckon? The weird lens way. The question, well, yeah, we'll get it all fixed down. And then we'll go for the mega test. <laughs> you. Of me as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm confident. Famous last words. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit. I get it now. Get what? Why people want the extra little bit. Yeah. I should have picked... Oh, do you know what would have been good? Is if I'd have cut out, you know, where the van goes in. Yeah. Cut them bits out and just sunk the wall on yeah. that section. Okay. Yeah. These things are always trial and error. I mean, I Yeah, but just, you know, through the night when you just want to have a stretch. Yeah. But like I said, it's just you. Yeah. yeah. It's just you, it's alright, but... Oh, it's so uncomfortable. The uni strip for the water tank had finally arrived, so I got on to finishing that off. Fitting the level sensor, filler neck, drain and outlet. Later on down the line, we'd have to quickly drop the tank back down to insulate it, as once again, we're waiting on parts. Honestly, building a camper in pandemic times is a ball ache. With the tank now on and connected up, we could at least carry on with the water system and check everything works. This bit is me fitting and insulating the outlet pipe that feeds into the van up to the pump, but unfortunately, halfway through, the camera died. Lance is in his absolute element because Emma's has toys everywhere. And then today, what was it? We ordered ceiling, all the furniture, wood. Oh, look at the state we were. I know. I think that's tomorrow though, I think barbecue, oh no, beer, walk for beer. Beer run, yeah. And then, um, steak. Yeah. Should we go for a walk, Lance? We're not taking the pig. We took the dogs over the fields and to the nearest village shop, got some supplies, and when we got back, we set up a little camp in the corner. <laughs> Camping! We just grab a poo bag for the fox shit. This is glamorous. Picking up the fox shit. The lamps don't roll in it. Ooh. Emma had bought some ridiculously big steaks, so we were going to bang them on the barbecue and enjoy a night around the fire. Seeing as we haven't really been allowed to see each other all that much. Thanks for watching folks, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed what's going on here as it does help me out and we'll see you next time.